Have you ever used a map to make a critical decision? To figure out where to target your company's marketing efforts? Or to decide which schools to close during an outbreak of the flu? Liz has. She knows that points on a map can tell her a lot, but she also knows they don't tell her the whole story. Here is a map of crimes in her city, over 3,000 of them. Liz is deciding where law enforcement resources should be focused. She sees some clusters on the map, but what is this clustering really telling her? Even a random pattern will have clustering. What Liz wants to see is clustering that is significant and isn't the result of random chance. She needs to find evidence that something is going on. Using this heat map, she's going to dig deeper. Based on what you see, where do you think crime is the highest? What if Liz changes the criteria for what appears red and what appears blue? It's the same data, but the heat map now tells a very different story. Do these maps provide Liz with enough evidence to make her decision? Liz doesn't think so. She's ready to kick it up a notch. This time, she's going to break out her secret weapon, the ArcGIS Find Hotspots tool. With the Find Hotspots tool employed, the areas in red now expose hotspots or clusters of high numbers of crime. The areas in blue now show cold spots or clusters of low numbers of crime. Using this tool, Liz is able to reveal spatial patterns that are statistically significant meaning they are not the result of random chance or cartographic decisions she chose to make. The tool is driven by spatial statistics, so the hot and cold spots reflect important underlying spatial patterns, in this case, showing Liz exactly where she needs to focus her law enforcement resources, so her decision can be made quickly and with confidence. Now you know how Liz does it, and next time, the ArcGIS Find Hotspots tool can help you with the critical decision you need to make.